hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how to install node on our luckfox pico pro max rv1106 linux micro development board we have covered the node installation in luckfox pico ultra w previously now we are going to cover same thing but instead of luckfox pico ultra w we are going to cover that for our luckfox pico pro max board now I have connected my Luckfox Pico Pro Max board with my router using LAN cable and here is my router okay and here you can see in the LAN client status I have my Luckfox board connected with this IP address and I have flashed the Ubuntu operating system onto the SD card for this uh, video okay and Luckfox Pro Max board is running with Ubuntu operating system okay now what we will do is we will log into the terminal of our luckfox pico pro max board using this ip address and over ssh and why i have connected my luckfox board with my router because we can serve two purpose by doing that we can access our luckfox board using ip address and we can provide internet to our luckfox board okay so that's why i have connected my luckfox pico pro max board with router now i'm going to open the terminal here we will type ssh and the pico user okay and here is the ip address now i'm going to hit enter and here we are going to provide the password which is luckfox okay so here you can see we have successfully logged in to the terminal of our luckfox pico pro max board now we want to install the node red so here i have already provided the command to install the node red okay and previously i have upgraded this systems using apt get update okay and apt get upgrade so our system is already up to date i guess let's check again okay there is no need for any upgrade because we have already upgraded our system now we will go to the super user mode sorry sudo su okay and now i'm going to run this command here so i'll paste that command here and then we will hit enter so are you really want to install yes are you sure you really want to do this yes i want to do this would you like to install pi specific node yes now here you can see this can take 20 to 30 minutes on the slower pi version okay so we have to wait for a few minutes okay until all the steps gets done and then after we can run node red in our luckfox pico pro max board and then after we can access it now this uh, command is designed for raspberry pi okay so for the raspberry pi terminal they have configured this but in the luckfox terminal it is not yet properly configured so that's why you are seeing this kind of garbage value but if it is in green color it means that that step is successful okay and if you see that in the red color then there is a problem so let's wait until all the steps gets done okay okay so here our node red is successfully installed okay now here we have to specify that where we want to keep our settings.js file so i'm going to leave the settings.js file location as it is so we will press enter do you want to set up user security not as of now do you want to enable project feature no enter a name for your flows file so i'm going to leave it as it is and then again enter and then again i'm going to select the default again default editor and allow function node to load external module yes and that's it 
Okay, so we have successfully installed NodeBraid in our Luckbox Pico Pro Max board. Now, let us check the free space available in our system. So we can run df-h. Okay, so 3.1 GB is available for use in our system. And then we will check free memory, free-h. So we have 20 MB of free memory is available for use. Okay, now what we will do is we will type, uh, okay, we will first uh, press Control D to log out of the sudo user. Now we will run node hyphen red. Okay, here you can see server now running at 127.0.0.1 colon 1880. So we have successfully installed NodeBraid in our Luckbox Pico Pro Max board. Okay, and NodeBraid is running. Now we know the IP address of our Luckbox Pico Pro Max board. We can use that IP address and we can use this 1880 port number to access the NodeBraid running inside our Luckbox Pico Pro Max board. Now what I'm going to do is I will open the new private window. We will type 192.168.1.14 colon 1880 and then we will hit enter. Okay, here you can see welcome to NodeBraid 4.0. So we are successfully able to access the NodeBraid running inside our Luckfox Pico Pro Max board. Now previously I have created one flow to monitor the system performance of our Luckfox boards. Okay, so I'm going to import that flow here. Okay, so here you can see monitor Luckfox board performance and resources in the NodeRed dashboard. So this is the flow which I'm going to use. Now we will copy the entire content, JSON content, and I'm going to the uh, NodeRed running inside the Luckfox Pico Pro Max board and we will click on this import button. And then we are going to paste the entire content here. And then we will click import okay so we have successfully imported everything i'm going to delete the flow one i'll update the flow name okay so luckfox monitoring okay and done now here you can see we are still missing some nodes okay so that's why what we have to do is we have to go to the manage palette and here we can search for dashboard node and yeah here you can see NodeRed dashboard. So I can click on install button and we will wait until our dashboard nodes are installed successfully in the NodeRed running inside our Luckfox Pico Pro Max board. Okay, so here you can see all of the dashboard nodes are installed successfully. Now we can close this one okay now i can directly deploy this flow okay we will clear out this error later on now we want to access the node red dashboard running inside our luckbox pico pro max board so we can click here we can click on the dashboard and we can click on the shortcut okay so here is our dashboard now this is the storage okay this is the memory consumption status this is the CPU percentage and uh, we have 246 MB of total memory and free memory is 71.16 MB. If you want to make more memory free, then you can press this button clear cache memory. Okay. So after that, you will have some more memory here. No. Okay. It's not working here. Maybe it's already clear and everything is uh, optimum. So that's why. Okay. And the storage use and here we have the percentage of used storage percentage of available storage free storage 3.1 gb used storage 2.6 gb okay and total storage 5.9 gb out of 8 gb okay and here is the ip address of your luckfox pico pro max board here is the reboot button and here is the shutdown button so this is how you can install node in your luckfox pico pro max board so first of all you have to upgrade your system then after you can directly run this command to install node raid okay so it will take some time so you have to wait until all the steps gets done and then after you just have to run the node raid command in your uh, luckfox terminal to run the node raid now here it is asking for the password why because previously we have pressed clear cache memory okay 
so we haven't run the node grid in the super user mode so that's why to clear the cache memory it was it is asking for the password so i can provide the password okay and i can hit enter now here you can see the memory is increased because last time we haven't provided the password here so that's why so if you want to control the super user commands then you have to run the node raid in the super user mode okay so you don't have to provide a password every time even if you click on the reboot or if you click on the shutdown then also it will ask for the password because those commands require the super user access okay so i hope this thing is clear now once you have your node raid up and running in the luckfox pico pro max board you can communicate with OPC server, BACnet devices, Modbus devices, MQTT, okay, any industrial protocol. You can also use it for AI, okay, you can also use for industrial automation, you can also use for IoT application, okay. Now it's up to you, it's up to your application, how you want to use Node-RED running inside your Luckfox Pico Pro Max board. So this is the best part of the Luckfox board that we can run Node-RED. Okay, so if you have any question or any doubt inside this, then you can always ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. Also, you can send me a mail. Also, you can ping me on LinkedIn. Now, we will meet you in the next videos. Okay, till then, take care. Goodbye and thank you.